Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Carrie Anderson and I'm very excited to share with you my new step and abdominal workout. This is my first exercise video designed to inspire all fitness levels. We'll be using all the popular techniques from my advanced series at a variety of levels so that you can progress to your own personal fitness goals beyond getting a great workout over the next hour. I hope you'll also gain some insights which will help you in every moment of your day. In this workout video, we'll cover three important areas. First, a 30-minute aerobic step workout. I've designed this segment to maximize fat burning. Members from my clubs will help demonstrate a variety of intensity levels so you can work at the pace that's right for you. Then as your cardiovascular system improves, as well as your comfort with the moves, you can shift your focus to one of the higher aerobic levels. The second part of the workout will be a 10-minute session on muscle conditioning for the abdominal muscles and the middle upper back. Weak abdominals can lead to lower back pain and injury. We'll talk more about this in a minute. The third part of this video is really about this part of your body, making a lifelong commitment to your health and happiness. I've learned a very valuable lesson working with people around the world. You may know everything there is to know about nutrition and exercise, but if you aren't applying it, living it, and loving it, what difference will it make in your life? Becoming consistently self-motivated to take action may be just what you need at this time. With this video, I think you're taking an important step on the road to health and happiness. Before we get started, let me review a couple of important points that will maximize the safety and effectiveness of your workout. Crystal is here to help me demonstrate some key points about body alignment. It's important to be able to put your torso into what is commonly referred to as neutral posture. This way, the pelvis and the spine are in correct alignment with the natural curve in the lower back. You can see how strengthening abdominals can help in maintaining good torso support, spine alignment, and therefore in preventing back problems. You'll need to consciously stabilize your spine by putting your torso in the neutral position. You'll want to be especially aware of this throughout the step workout, and especially as you fatigue. The strong hip flexor muscles will be working continuously to get you up and down the step. The pelvis is able to rock, and it commonly tends to tilt forward like this. You can see and feel the pressure that it puts on relaxed abdominals and also on the lower back. Whenever you're active, doing aerobics, walking, weight training, home chores, or anything else, your abdominals play a key role in keeping your movements efficient, safe, and beneficial to your good health. Now, about stepping techniques. Take the time to place your entire foot on the center of the platform. Step a comfortable distance back from the platform on each landing, letting the heels return naturally to the floor. Always be aware of where the step edges are to avoid tripping or falling. Also, choose a step height that is comfortable for your height, your leg length, and your fitness level. The higher you step, the harder you must work to keep your good form. Always keep your feet moving throughout the aerobic program. All the steps can easily be performed on the floor without using the step. The group on the right side of the screen will be helping me demonstrate low-impact versions, while the group on the left will show you high-impact variations. My friend Jerry will be working at a modified level to give you some ideas about how to take the intensity down and increase your comfort. Remember to drink plenty of water before, during, and after our workout. Remember, you only have two feet, so if you make a mistake and end up on the wrong foot, you're halfway there to being right again. Have fun and enjoy the workout. It's time to get started. Bend those knees slightly, take your hips side to side. Good, now I've got my friends here to help motivate you. Let's have a great workout. Good, now drop the shoulder down, nice and easy. Watch that lower back, keep your back long. Eight more counts. We're gonna keep those hips going and just change the arms. So get ready, arms go front and back. It's up and back. Good, now feel the elbows, pull behind you. Squeeze the muscles in the back. Good, give me eight more. You're gonna keep those arms going. And we're going to bend and stretch the leg. Five, six, seven, eight, go down and up. That's it. Sink straight down. Good. Last forward. Three. Step touch. Take it out to the right side. Get down and up and up. Use those legs. Now that's going to pick up the heart rate. If you want to work hard, get those large muscles of the legs working. Uh-huh. We got
got it, we got it. Good, four more counts. Four and three. Let's reach up to the corner, nice and tall. Take it right, take it left. And right, left, four more. Three, we've got it now. Step together, clap those hands. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Get four more. Three more. Step, touch, and reach four times. It's one and two. Three, now clap it four. One and two. Do that again. Reach up for four and three. And clap it four times. We're going to add on to that. March it out, right foot. Move to the left side of your step. Now this next movement is called a rock step. Taking the leg forward and back, start with the right foot. Here you go, step front, step back, step front, step back one more. Now grapevine over to the right. Left foot, here we go, take it front. That's it, come on. Yes, one more. And grapevine. Let's try some arms now. Take it up overhead, push back. Take it up, push back, one more. Grapevine. Do it again. Take it up and back. Now I want to see those hips creep in here. Here we go, uh-huh. Again, take it up. Let me see those hips. Again, one more. Great line. And one more set. Take it up, hips, and back. Take it up, and back. Take it up, and back. We're going to add on squat three. To the right, bring it in. To the left, bring it in. Nice and centered. Good. Now take the hips. Easy, outside, inside. Go left, right, left. That's it. Sink down. Punch it out now. Ho, ho. That's it. Good. Now watch that heart rate. Let it gradually go up. All right. Three more. Two more. We're going to add on now. Great line to the right. Take it right. Take it left. Give me two more of those. Good. One more. Hamstring curl. Bring your heel right up to your rear. That's it. Get down. Feels good, huh? Grapevine to the right. Grapevine left. Four hamstrings right there. Stay. That's it. Let's try it again. Grapevine to the right. To the left. Four hamstrings. Get down. Let's try some arms now. Left arm reach up and around. Arm up. Hamstring four times. One and two. Three. Let's do it again. Arm up. Arm up. Hamstring four times. Now we're going to cut it down. Give me one grapevine. Two hamstrings. Good. Three more. Up and down. Work it, work it. Two more. Up and down. And last one. Get ready to march it out. Right there. All right. Nice job. All right. We're going to move to the center of the step. Now we're going to get to know our step a little bit more. So make sure every time you step up, you plant your foot in the center of the platform. Step on your right foot, lift your left knee, and march on the floor. Let's try it. Here we go. Step knee, down on the floor, march forward. Again, step knee, and down on the floor, and march. Again, step knee, and down on the floor, and march. That's it. Right. Nice and high. Good. Now clap on the knee. Pick it up. March it. Forward. Three, two, one again. Pick it up and march it. Now let's march wide on that step. Good, left foot goes out. Pick it up. And to the right. Five, six, seven, eight, pick it up. Uh-huh, work it, work it. Pick it up. Good, and again, take it up. And then. One more, take it up. Gonna learn a new one. Tap up three times. Tap up, tap down. Now you're facing sideways a little bit. One more. March on the floor three times and change sides. Tap it. Step left. And down two more. One more. On the floor, march around and tap. Arms up now. Side bend, cross front. Side bend, cross front. And bring that arm around. That's it. Pick it up. Yeah. And down. Pick it up. And down one more. And around. Two. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's do that again. Good. Now long back, but you're going to reach towards me a little bit, and around. Five, six, seven, eight. Pick it up, and down, work it. Yeah. And around, keep marching, face front. Now you're on your left foot. Take the left foot on top of the step right now. 
Take the other leg back behind you and work it further and further back. Now hold the heel down. You're in a calf stretch. Let that heel gently go down to the floor. That's it. Now lift the front toes up. Here we go. Straighten the leg. Sink down. Feel the stretch increase. Can take it up and down. Now you don't want to force it. Make sure it feels good. And down. One more. We're going to stay down. Now slow down that right arm and take it back and front. Left arm support. Two more. One more. Take it up and around and sink down. Now think of that knee going down. Feel the stretch for the hip. Let's work those arms. Shoulder and down. Shoulder. Can you resist it more? Push. Come on. Exhale. Two more. One more. Step back. Arms up and around. Sink down. Hands on the side. Good. Relax the toe down. Pull it up. Now feel that long line from the back of the hip down through the heel. And up. Now this time you're going to bend the knee. Take it down and press up. Again. You lean kind of forward without moving the back. Stay right there. Hand on the thigh. And roll up through your back. March on your right foot. Here we go. Right and left. Can we try the other side? Right foot up on top. Here we go. Here we go. Take it back further. Further and hold it down. That's it. Relax that calf. Chest is lifted. No arch in the lower back. Slow the left arm down. Take it back. And front. And back. Front. Good. Two more. Got it. Up and around now and sink down. Good. Feel that stretch through the hip. Ready for the arm. Push it. Down. Push it. Down. Good. Up. Down. Three more. Two more. Ooh, this is hard work. Huh? Step it back. Arms up. Sink down. Long back. Relax the toes for a moment. Pull the toes back up. Now you want to keep the chest at a height that you feel the stretch, but absolutely no strain in the back. All right? Good. Take it up. Now this one, you're going to bend the knee. All you do is get a little more stretch in through the rear end there. And again, don't drop the chest. Take it up. Stay right there. Roll up through your back. Good. And march on your right foot. Here we go. Now we're going to take it back to a step touch to the right. Step touch, right? And left. And right. And left. Good. Keep that going. Now, it's about time we get started on the step aerobics. We're going to take that heart rate up higher. Make sure you watch how you feel. Watch your intensity. We'll do lower impact on this side, higher impact on this side. I'll do a little of everything. Here you go. March it out. We're going to start with the first step, which is a basic step. Up, up, down, down. Let's do it slow first. Right foot lead. Are you ready? Here we go. Go up, go up, and down. Now lunge on the floor four times. Let's do that again. Plant it up. Go slow, slow. Now make sure your entire foot is on the step. That's it. We're going to try some arms with that. Keep it slow. Front, open, front, and lunge and bring that arm across. Get down. Let's work it, huh? Again, take it up, open. Work that upper body. Again, go down. Two. Let's do the basic faster. Give me two. Now we're to speed and four lunges. Here we go. Get down. Three, two. Let's do that again. Basic. Go in, out, in, and down. Feel that chest open up. She get a nice stretch. Do it again. Here we go. In, up, and down. And lunge it. Four. Three, two. Give me one more. We're going to add on to this. So don't forget it. And lunge it four. Now you're going to step up and curl the leg behind you. Change legs by doing a step, step. There you go. So it's step, lift, step, 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 lift, step, step. Uh-huh. Let's punch those arms now. Go down, up, down, down, up. Now you'll notice Jerry is keeping the arms a little lower. If you want to work at a lower intensity, you can just press out right here. That'll help you take the heart rate down. Good. Keep it up. Work at your level. One more. Now give me a repeat or three. Just fold the arms in. Good. Change sides. So it's three heel curls. Good. That's it. One, two, three, one more. Let's go back to the single hamstring right there. Go. Up. Two more of those. One more. Repeater three. Right here. Take 
get up, get down, get down, change side. Good, now let's do the singles twice. Then one repeater. Pick it up, one more. Repeater, step right. Good, work it. Other side, singles now. Pick it up, pick it up. Repeater. Uh-huh, try that again. Step right. Hoo, ha, ha. <laughs> repeater. Four, three, two, one more. Pick it up, pick it up. Repeater. Do you remember the first part? Basic step two. Work it. Good, and lunge it four. Now if you missed it that time, you've got a second chance. Here we go. Basic, again basic, and lunge it four. Ready for the hamstrings? Step over right, pick it up, step to the left, repeater. One, two, three. Want to get a little jump on that? You certainly can. Why don't you save it for the third repeater so you can really push it. From the beginning, basic, one more time. Huh. Yes. One, lunge it four. Go one, two, three, and again. Go one. One more. Lunge it. Four, three, hamstring. Go, step up. Other side. Repeater. Take it three, two, one. Do it again. Other side. Pick it up. Pick it up. Repeater. Gonna do one more set of those hamstrings. Here we go. Take it up. Take it up. Repeater. Now I want you to give me four basic steps on your left leg. Can you do it? Three more. Two more. Let's take it from the beginning. Left side. Here we go. Basic. Use those arms. Now lunge your left leg first. Go down. 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 Lead left again. Left, right, left, right. And lunge it four. Good. Hamstring curl. Go. Up. And up. Repeater. One. Two. Good. Keep it going. Up. And up again. Repeater. Ready for the basic? Once again, left side. Come on. Work it. Harder. Keep it going. Up. 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 Do it again. Go. One. And two. And lunge it forward. Ready for the hamstring curl? Here we go. Take it up. And again up. Repeater. One, two, three. Do it again. Come on. This is the last set of this. Keep going. Repeater. One, two. One more set on the left side. Then we'll go back to the right. Pick it up. Repeater. Ready to give me those four basic on your right foot this time? Come up. Uh-huh. Three more. Move over to the right side of your bench. Give me a knee up. Change legs. Now move down your bench. Change legs again. On the floor, two-step touch. Do it again. So it's knee, knee again, knee again, and step touch. Good. Now arms up. Take it up. Bicep curl, shoulder level. One more. Give me a single clap. Try to do a double right here. Good. Now you'll notice on that step touch, I'm starting a little syncopation. Try this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Good. Did you do it? <sighs> do they look okay back there? Gotta let me know. <laughs> That's it. Good. Now if you want to work a little harder, the left side will show you a jump version. Up. Okay, take it up. Good. Now you can also add a little spring here. So many options. You decide what works best for you. Again, take it up. Do it again. One more. Gonna add on now, step kick to the corner. Gonna do four with a tap down. Three more. Two more. Now to change sides, just walk on the floor for two. So it's up, tap down, up, tap down, up, tap down, and this one is a step step. Give me two. Tap down, and change sides. Two, tap down. Good, do that again. It's up, tap down, change sides, pick it up, tap down. Now we're gonna cut it down to one. Take it one, change sides. In a lot of ways, this is easier than the two. Good, just notice that you're alternating sides. Do you guys like to try some arms out there? Cross it over front, 
punch it down. Cross it, punch it down. That's it. Good. Push it. Push it. One more. Now basic step, right foot leads. Right foot leads. We're gonna do jazz hands. Let me see, fingers. Again, fingers. Give me a couple more. That's it, good. Three more. Two more. Get ready for the kick. Step right and kick the left leg. Other side. Now two basic steps, right foot lead. And again. Kick to the left. Kick to the right. Two basic. Good, let's do one more of the two sets. Right, take it up. Now only kick the leg as high as you can handle, trying to keep neutral spine as much as possible. Now single, here's the hard part. One basic on your left. Single to the right, one basic on the right. So now you've got to throw that basic step on your left foot right here. Go left, right, left, right. Down, good. Couple more, come on. Push, pick it up. Three more, take it up. Two more. Now, do you have any idea what the beginning was? I hope so. Let's take the knee up. Start right here. Knee up. Move down to the center. Move to the left. Step touch. Start with the right. And again, take it up. Good. And again, up. One more. Step touch. Kick it. That's it. Take it up. Basic step. Do it again. Pick it up. Basic step. One more step this time. Now stay right here on your left foot. Stay here. Stay here. One more. Let's take the knee up on the other side. See so you right here. Up, move down to the right. Keep going. Step touch to the left. Yes, good. That's it. Ho. Oh. Come on, let me see those hips. Lead with your rear end. No problem there, right? Keep it up. Keep it up. Lead with your rear. Up. One more. Center and side. We're going to add that kick now. Step left and kick right. Take it up. Basic. Take it up. Yeah. Take it up. And again, go. Basic. One more. Let's try that knee up. Here we go. Step on the left. Center. Work that upper body. Good. Take it side. Up. And again, that's it. You can keep your arms lower if you're getting tired, or just keep them on your hips. That's always an option. Kick it right there. Up. Good. Make sure you're able to talk to me and that you feel good right now. Right? Breathing comfortably. Got to stay aerobic here. Take it from the beginning. Here we go. Knee up. One. And two. And three. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. Take it up. Take it up. Take it up. Come on. Let's do it. Oh. Kick it. We're having a good time. How about you? Now, if you're working too hard, just let those arms relax. We're almost done with the first set. All right, come on. Give me one more. Now keep those feet moving and find your pulse right there. Get ready, count. Stop. To calculate your exercising heart rate in beats per minute, multiply your 10 second count by six. Now find your age on the screen and read across for your recommended heart rate range. Use this as a guideline and remember to listen to your body and make the necessary changes in your intensity level. Are you ready to march it out again? Here we go, right foot. That's it. Now we're gonna start the second set and it's a little bit longer. So watch that intensity, take it down when you need to. V step and tap at the end. Here we go, right foot lead up and tap on top. That's it, good. Now keep that foot on top on the tap. I want to see a little bit of a hip movement when you tap. That's it, tuck the pelvis under. Good, now watch that lower back. Let's try some arms. Push out, curl, push out, curl. Good, you've got it. Keep it going. Uh -uh. 
All right, now we're going to start a combination, so give me two sets of that. Here's one. One more. Now march right foot on top, left foot is down. Let's try that V again. Here we go. V step, tap it, and march on top. Four, three, try it again. Yes, come on, body works. Watch my arms now, scoop it. So scoop under and up. Do it again. Go, one, curl two, scoop it, and travel to the end of your step. I'm gonna add on to this. Give me a knee up and squat up the side. Knee again, squat. Step off the back, one basic left foot. Other side, knee, squat. Knee, squat. Hold it, step off, and face it. Arms ready. Come in and down. Up and down. Off the back. Arms up. Good. Step it up. Sink down. Push up. Sink down. Hold it and down. Basic. Good. Again. Come on. Push. Take it up and down. And lift and down. And again. Take it up. Push. Up. Push. One more. Back to the V step. Right foot lead. Go one, two, scoop it four in place, stay there, do it again, V-step, curl, now travel to the end of your step, face knee, ready for that knee, push up, strong, sink, now the further down you go, the harder you're going to work, so be careful, and again, take it up, use your arms for support, that's it, take it up, and down, V step again. Here we go. V. V. Scoop in place. Push. Push. Rise. Here we go. V again. V again. Let's move it. Four. Three. Give me that V right now. Take it up. Down. Balance. Down. Balance. Step off. Strong basic step. Go. Up. Squat. Up. Squat. One more. Let's try that knee squat one more time, this side. Up, down, up, down, good. Now start the V-step with your left foot. Go out, curl, and scoop in place. Stay there. We're gonna try that again. We gotta practice that scoop on this side, huh? Here we go. Scoop it. Right. I bet you're ready to move on that scoop. Now there's only one way to go. We'll go forward. Face front. Knee up. Lift. Down. Powerful. Strong. And basic. Crisp. There you go. Take it up. And down. Lift. Down. Lift. Ready for the V. Left foot go. Hop. Curl. Travel right away. Let's go. Uh-oh. Give me the knee up. Down. Up and down. One more. And basic step. V step right foot. V. Curl. Now travel that way. Right. Knee up right now. Push up. Down. Really use that rear end right here. Ready for the V? Let's go. Up. And again. Up. Travel. Yeah. Push it. Push it. Step up. Good. Now march it out on the floor. Stay right there. Legs apart. Get down deeper. Put your hands on your thighs. Give me a squat now. Just push and push. Stay down. Put your hands. Get ready. Now turn the step. Facing knee. Hands on your thighs. Roll up through your back and march it out. All right. Going to change that mood. Are you ready? <laughs> Basic step with a tap down. So it's up, tap down. You start the other foot. Tap down, up, tap down. All right, let's do those arms here. On top. And down. Yes. Good. Bring those elbows up so they're parallel to the ground. Push, push. Two more. Leg behind three times. It's a repeater. Repeater. And change sides. Pick it up. Take the arm back, 
front and round. There you go. Back. Front feels good, huh? Up. Now you want to work a little harder. You know what to do. You can take a little jump or just make your movements larger all together. Let's do it again. Come on. Reach. Up. And again. One. Two. Ready to start from the basic? Let's go. Up. And down. And down. One more. Leg back three times. One. Up and around. Take it one, two, let's do that two more times. Good, take it back. Forward, up and around. One more. Back to the basic, one more time, then we're gonna add on. Up. Two more. <laughs> yes, one more. Leg back right there, take it back. Lift, up and around. And one more. Now we're gonna add on. Give me a little kick. Little kick, flex. So the other side, one more, and march with the legs apart for four. Step left, now step right, step left, and march for four. Yes, now give me a little heel, arms forward, come on, flex that foot. You'll feel the stretch through the calf, and march it four. Again, here we go, Hup. and down, Hup. and down one more, and march. Now can we travel down the bench? Come to me. Keep going. Up and again. Up and take it back. Do it again. Here we go. Now clap on the down. Here we go. Take it up and clap. Take it up and clap and back. Up, up and up. You got it. Ho and down. Pump, 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 pump. Take it up. Clap. Think we can put it all together. Here we go. Basic step right here, go right, and left, two more, one more, arabesque three, good, leg back, keep it low, again, take it out, two, ready to kick, go down the step, ho, -ho. good, one more, and take it back, pick it up, pick it up if you want to, take it up, pick it up, pick it up, and back. Let's do that again. Step kick. Up and back. Up, back. Take it back. One more. Here we go. Up and down. And down. Take that. Basic step one last time. Go up. Yeah. Keep that going. Up. Leg back three times. One, two, three. Just give me one more set and we're going to learn a new one. So get ready. Step and lift the leg side. Legs apart. Side leg, take it down. Now keep the leg low enough that you're not letting your hips lift. Right, so you work the abductors. Nice, hard work there. Pick it up. Now arms, bow and arrow. Then pull down. Bow and arrow. Pull down. Yeah. You want to make that straddle a little deeper if you want to work harder. Good. Now tighten up the outer thigh. Move to the back of your step. Give me a knee up and step off the back. And then the other knee and step off the back. You gotta know where the edge of your bench is. Elbow in. Pull it. Other side. That's it. Nice and strong. Good. Now if you'd like to jump this, go ahead. Little hop. Little hop. Right. Good. Make sure you don't work too hard for your level at this point. There's always time to work up in advance. Two more. Ready for that side leg lift? Step right, lift it left. Up, straddle down. Now the bench is between your legs, but you're near the back end. Give me the knee up. Go off the back. Good. Up and down. And again, go up and down. Now those of you that are doing the jump, I want you to move down to the center of your bench, only if you're jumping. So we're gonna do a little turn. Watch this knee. Come up, step off the side. Come up, off the side. Yeah. Side leg lift again. Try it again. Now the only thing that changed was a little bit of direction. So keep that foot pattern. Knee lift. Up. Again up. Now you have to unload the foot in order to do the turn. Here we go. Now I'm gonna come back with those of you that aren't turning but I'm gonna show the jump version 
without the turn. Give me the knee, here we go. Up, down, kick it up, and down, up. You wanna add on? March it out, eight counts, come to the left side. Slow over the top. You go right, go left, right down, and tap the foot. Give me eight, march it, nice and big. Over, slow, slow, and down. Now four marches. Gonna go over the top faster. Go up and clap down. March, go up, up, up and clap. Again, march, again go up and clap. We're gonna take that march into a rock step. All right, walk front and back and over. Good, again, rock front, left leg, over. Now over the top, let me see those arms. Come up and pull down. Again, take a front. Now high impact, you can do some scissors. They look like this, if you want to. Huh. So left leg front, left, right, left, right, and over. Right leg front. Okay, that's your high impact option. It's really gonna elevate your heart rate, so be careful. Rock step if you want. Over, here we go. Strong, 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 go, pull. Over. Two more. That's it. And again. Now I want you to do one more set on this side. We're going to add on. So rock it. Go over. Now little kick tap down two times. One more. Now rock step or scissor. Over the top. Tap up. Little kick. Tap down. Good. Rock step. Now if you want to work harder, take it up. Give me a kick and lunge back a little deeper. There you go, rock step, over the top. Here we are, we're working. High impact, you can do a ball chain. All right, take it front, over. Kick it, yes. Ball change, optional. And again, go. These are all things for you to try as you progress in your fitness. All right, let's go, come on, get down. Over, pull, kick. Tap down. One more step. I think we're ready to put it together. <laughs> now it starts with that side leg lift. So step on your right. Left leg up and down. Right leg up. Two more. One more. Now off the mat or turn. Up and down and up and down. Up and down. And rock step go. Take it one, two over. Kick it. Tap down, rock, step, go, over, yes, we've got it, pick it up, and down, side leg lift, let's go, pick it up, down, good, come on power, move, move, knee up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, and again up, rock, step, let's go, one, two, three, four, and over. Kick it, and down, good, rock, step. Are you ready to start cooling it down? I bet. March it out on the floor, right foot deep. All right, now we want that heart rate to decrease, but we're gonna use this step for another minute or so. Step, kick, three times. It's step, kick, step, kick, step, kick, and march. Again, step, kick, step, kick, step, kick, and march. Easy arms once again, punch front. Up, up and down. Take it up. Good, nice deep breath. Ooh. That's it. So you're gonna do two of them on top of the step and go off the other side. Wanna try? Here we go. Take it up and up and down and march. Now you go the other way. Up and up and up and down. Nice and easy. Now if you want to add kind of a bounce in the body, you can there, huh? Good, use the music. Heavy, heavy. Really want to encourage you to breathe here. Take deep breaths. Let that heart rate start decreasing comfortably. And think about what a great workout you just had. All right, now walk three counts forward. Kick it front and tap it back. Let's try that again. Kick it front and tap it back, yeah. Kick it run. Uh -huh. Tap back. One more. Now stay in place. Kick front and tap back. Do it again. Give me one more. 
Then grapevine to the other side. Let's try that step kick, tap back on this side. Take it down, it's kick, and down one more, and grapevine. Uh-huh, let's do it again. Step kick, tap back. Step kick, tap back. Step kick, tap back, and go. Oh, oh, yeah, step kick, and back. Step kick, back one more, and grapevine. Let's take it from the walk forward now. Give me three, little kick, tap back. Do that again. Three, little kick. Now stay in place. Step, kick, tap, back. Three times. Good, two more. One more, and grapevine to change. Now walk forward this side. Left foot leads, kick it, and tap it back. Do it again. Kick it. Stay here, step, kick, tap, back. It's kick, tap, back, kick, tap, back, and grapevine. Three steps forward, go. Now you got all the moves. Now it's just a matter of remembering them. Come forward and back. Step, kick, tap, back. Take it front and back and front. One more. Great find to change. Three steps forward, let's go. One, two, three, and back. Tap back. Two, two, three. Stay right here, step, kick. Tap back. Yes, we're winding down and we feel great. Great find. Rock step to the side, new step. Go out and together. Go out and together. Go out, now march for four legs wide. One, two, three, four, go left. Good, go right. Go left, march it wide for four. One, two, three, four, good. Yes. One more. March it and give me those hips if you can. Good, don't let those hips throw you. Push it. Take it up, one more. Push it and bring the legs together, march it in. Come to the side of the bench, one foot up. So you're still marching, keep that going. Four, three, two. Let's slow it down and take it inside, outside, inside. One more set and hold it to the outside, hands on the side. Feel that inner thigh stretch. Hold it right there. Good, four more counts. Keep that chest lift, lifted, back supported. Turn the right foot. Turn the whole body into it. Now hold the calf stretch. Long back. Good, abdominals in tight. Now bend the back knee a little bit, just hold it. And press it back. Do it again. And press it back. Stay right there. Good, now push off your back foot, bring it under you, and march around your step. Good, and take that foot up again, and go in, and out, and in, and out. Two more, in, and out. One more. Stay right there, take it down. Hold that stretch. Keep the chest lifted, just feel the hip pressing down. Turn the foot, turn the body, and take that calf stretch. Straight leg. Good, hold it right there, chest lifted. Bend the back knee a little bit. Press it down again, and bend it again. Press it down, push off your back foot, bring it together, and nice job, great workout. Get your mat and come right back. All right, we're ready to start the abdominal section and a little later some work for the middle and upper back. I'd like you to put your feet up on your step, get a comfortable distance away, and put your hands under the thighs. Now this is important that you watch Jerry behind me if you'd like to do some modifications on some of these exercises when they get more intense. Now we're gonna work with that neutral posture, so let's start sitting straight up. Now round the back slowly, tuck the pelvis under until the elbows stretch. Then come back up to neutral spine. Let's try it again, good. Take it down, let the back stretch. Come back up and I want you to tighten up the muscles of the back. So try it again, go down and tuck that pelvis. Abdominals are contracting. Come up and contract the back. This time we're gonna roll all the way down to the floor. So lower yourself down comfortably. Good, now in this position I want you to scoot a little closer to your step so that you've got about a 90 degree angle on the knees. Take the hands up to the thighs. We're gonna curl up and reach the fingertips to the tops of the knees. Here we go, so curl up, exhale, and back down. And again, you curl, exhale, and down. Now pull your abdominal wall in as flat as you can as you're working. That's it, keep breathing, and down. Now you wanna pick as much of your upper back off of the floor as you can. If you think you can work harder, let's take our hands behind the head. This is going to increase the intensity. 
take it up two and down two. Still exhale, and you want to try to maintain that height that you established with the hands on the knees. And down. Give me one more of this tempo. Good. Let's take it up to speed. Single count up and down. Go up, lower down, go up, lower down. That's it. Up and down, up. Can you give me four more? It's four and three. Good. Doing nice. Now we're going to practice some strength work. Here we go. Hold it up where you are. Take your right hand, put it under your thigh. I want you to lift a little bit higher. Now you're going to try to let go and hold that height. Put the hand through the leg. Good. And slowly roll down to the floor. Put the hands back behind the head. You're going to try the other side. Come up and hold it. Take the left hand, put it under the thigh, and once again, lift a little higher. Let go and hold it. Keep that height. Good. You're going to roll down and bring the hands back behind the head. Now we're going to take it up to tempo. One count or two counts up. Go up two. Put the hand under, lift higher, reach through, hold it, and down on eight. So come up two counts, left hand under, pull up a little higher, reach through, and hold, and hold back down. Do it again. Up and stay. Right hand goes under, pull up, let go, hold it, keep breathing, keep breathing, roll it down. Again, up, left hand under, pull higher, let go and stay. Good, we're gonna do a few more. And those of you that are more advanced, I want you to take the hands behind your head. So stay right here, try to bring it in, bring it in, and lower down. Up for two, it's harder now. Hold on, pull up, let go, try to hold your height as you bring the hand back in. Good, two more, up two. Right hand hold, pull up, let go. Bring it in if you'd like, down. Last one, good, hold on, pull up, reach through, bring it in, single curls up and down, exhale. Exhale, good. Keep going. All right, one more. Now we're going to move on. Working the lower attachment of the abdominal walls. Take your leg up in the air. Other leg joins it. Cross your ankles and drop your heels down. Now reverse curl. You curl the hips up and lower back down. And curl the hips up, lower back down. Now I want you to feel the lift from underneath your rear end and try not to pull the knees forward. All right, because you don't want to use your legs to help you. Push with the hips up, and down, and again up. Now we're going to do a split series. So lift the hips up, then lift the shoulders. Keep the hips off the floor. Lower the shoulders, the hips are still up, and then lower the hips. Try that again. Hips up, shoulders come up, shoulders roll down, and hips go down. Let's try it a little bit faster. So it's hips, shoulders, shoulders, and hips. Hips shoulders, and four single crunches, everything together, hips and shoulders. Keep that neck long, make sure you don't pull on the head. One more, and split again. Give me the hips. Up, shoulders, shoulders, and hips. One more, hips, shoulders, shoulders. Four single crunches, go up and down. Are you breathing? Come on, work it. Take it up and down. One more set. Now, if you feel you need a break, please take one at any time. One more, come on, up, lift, down. Four single crunches. You don't want to go to the point of pain. Two more, one more, good. Now carefully lower one foot at a time to the step. Both feet are on. Turn the knees about 30 degrees towards me. Now take your left hand and you're going to reach up the top of that thigh. Reach up to your heel and back down. Let's do it again slow. Up to the heel, back down. A little faster now, take it up and down. Once again, exhale, good, exhale. Now you're gonna reach over towards your right knee. Go up and down, that's it, up and down. Just two more, one more. Let's take the knees over to the other side, change arms. Start with the arm, over, and reach up slow and back down. Do it again, curl up slow and back down. Let's take it to tempo. Go up and down and up and down. Good. Four more. And three, two, and reach over towards the left thigh. This time go up so you follow the line of your knees. That's it. Exhale up, down, 
and up. Two more. Come on, go up. One more. Go up and lay down. Now, I want you to open the legs a little bit. Turn the feet out slightly. Take the hands behind the head. We're going to do a lateral tilt and some rotation here. This one gets a little difficult, so be ready. Curl up. Keep the shoulders off the floor. Take the right hand. Reach towards the foot. Come back to center and lower down. Let's try that side again. Come up, right hand reaches towards the side. Keep your chest facing the ceiling, up and down. Let's try the other side, same tempo. Come up, keep your height, do a side bend. Back to center, good and down. Same side again, slow, up, side bend, hold it. Good, back to center, down. Now let's take it to the right and take it to tempo. So it's up, side bend, Center, one more time to the right. Up, side bend, good, let's take it left. Come up, side bend, up and again. Take it up, side bend, back to the right. Here we go, take it up. Side bend, one more to the right. And we're gonna add four rotations over to the left, right here, go up and over. Bring the shoulder towards the opposite thigh. Think of that diagonal line across the body. Good, let's do the side bend to the left. Up, tilt, center. Again, go up, tilt, center. Rotate to the right, up over, four, and three, and two. Let's try one more set on each side. Here we go, come on, as high as you can. Exhale, side bend, center, and again. It's up, side bend, center, rotate left. It's up and down, good, up. And down, two more, up, down, and one more set. Center, up, side, bend, left. Good, are you breathing? Make sure you're pulling the abdominal wall in as flat as you can. Rotate right now, four. Last three, we're almost done. Keep it up, and lay down right there. Bring your legs up, roll towards me, easy. Use your arms, help yourself up, and move your mat a little ways away from your step. Now come onto your mat, on your knees, and on your hands. Use your abdominals and lower yourself down to the mat. Here we go. Now take your arms at your sides. Tuck your pelvis under, pushing your pubic bone into the floor and lifting your belly button. Use your hands and test to see that that's happened. Now take your arms down at your sides. Let your shoulders roll into the floor. Relax your head down. Now we're going to work the middle and upper back together. Starting with the upper back, lift the shoulders off the ground. Now lift the chest. Lower the chest and lower the shoulders. Try that again, try to isolate. Use the upper back, lift the chest, lower, keep the shoulders up and down. Try it again. Pick it up, lift, up, good. Now make sure you're keeping that pelvic tilt so you keep it out of your lower back. Focus on the middle and upper, lift, good. And lower, lower the shoulders. Move your arms to 90 degrees if you want to work harder. Arms up, chest up, chest down, and then drop the arms. You'll feel the rhomboids in the center of your back right here. Lift up, contract. Good, think about that pelvic tilt. Come on, a couple more. Take it up. Lift, make sure you keep your neck long the whole time, and down. Good, you might want to look directly to the floor there. Take it up. Lower the chest. Now, if you want to work harder, take it overhead. Now lift those arms, bend the chest a little bit. Good, try to lower the chest, keep the arms up and down. That should feel great. Now lift, good. Lift the chest a little bit. Now never think of arching the lower back. Give me two more, come on, it's up. Lift and lower. Lower the arm. One more, arms up. Lift the chest, lower the chest, and down, relax right there. Good work. We're going to start the best part of class now. I want you to slide your hands to your chest and carefully push yourself up onto your knees using your abdominals. Bring your knees under your hips and sit your hips back over your heels. Crawl your fingertips out and let your forehead rest to the floor. Feel the spine lengthen right there. Now slowly roll up through your back, start with your lower back, work up your spine. You're going to come to a kneeling position, let the head come last. Good, keep it coming. 
Inhale, back to neutral spine. I want you to reach your arm towards me. Reach out forward. Come up overhead and reach to the back. Keep your hips straight across if you can. Roll from above the waist. Let the chin drop and roll up through your back. Take the other side now. Reach out. Come up and come towards me. Good. You got to press that back hip down. Roll forward. Let the chin drop and roll up through the back. Great, now take the hands back down to your mat and lower yourself down to your stomach one more time. You're gonna lift up your left heel and bring it in towards your rear. Very gently get the quadricep on a stretch. Now slowly tuck your pelvis under. So you're pushing your pubic bone once again into the floor. Lift your belly button. It's gonna increase the stretch, so be careful. Great, let's try the other leg. First, you just wanna bring the heel in gently towards your rear. Tuck the pelvis under slowly, lift the belly button up. Good. Let's lower the leg, and I want you to slide over to the front side of your mat and roll over onto your back. Good, now get in a good position, feet flat on the floor, and bring your right knee into your chest. Just feel that stretch in the back of the thigh, in through the rear end. Slowly unfold it halfway and then reach all the way up. If you can, straighten the knee, flex the foot, take a deep breath, I want you to exhale and increase the stretch. Feel the long line up the back of the thigh and energy out through your heel. Keep breathing. And let's change legs. Bend that one in, lower down, other knee to the chest. Start that stretch in the rear. Slowly unfold it up. Good. and take it all the way up right there. Flex the foot if you'd like. It'll increase the stretch behind the knee. Inhale, exhale, and bring it in. Good. Feel that long line, hold it. Good. Just bend the leg that up. that's up, let the other one join it, and roll to the front. Use your hands to help yourself up. Come to a sitting position. Straighten out your right leg. Pick your left leg up, cross it over. Now pull that knee gently across so you're stretching through the outer thigh. Put the elbow there, and gently rotate the spine, look behind you. Good, come back to center, hands down behind you. Set yourself back, bend the right leg so the left leg crosses on top. Bring your pelvis up through your legs. Once again, stretching in the rotators of the hip. If you want a little more stretch, lift the toes up off the floor. Keep holding it and breathing. Lower the toes down, round the back. Take the left leg up, lower the leg, and come up. Now you're ready for the other side. Pick that right leg up, pull the knee gently across. Use the elbow right there on the outside, and gently rotate back. Good, hold that stretch. Come back center again, hands behind you. Sink back, bend your left leg, cross the right leg. Once again, bring the pelvis up through the legs, lift the chest, feel a good stretch. Lift the toes if you'd like. It's going to push the thigh a little bit closer. These are always optional ways of increasing a stretch. Take the toes down. Bend the arms. Sit back. Take the leg up and lower it down. Fold your left leg in and bring the right leg in to join it. Hands forward. Now round your back forward and let the head drop. Roll up through your back. Keep the hands on the ankles and round your lower back towards the floor. Drop your chin, spread the shoulder blades. Come back up to neutral spine once again, nice and tall. Chest lifted, arms reach forward. Open at side, turn them over, and just grab a finger and a thumb. Straighten the elbows. Now slowly roll your shoulders back till you feel the shoulder blades squeezing together. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, drop the shoulders down. Let the hands relax. You had a great workout, and I want you to stick around for something very special.